Yo, what is good, guys? Welcome back. In this video, I want to fix up some of those issues that we had with the UI where it was, you know, adding multiple instances of the same widget, uh, even though those widgets weren't actually supposed to be there. So the easy way to do this is just before we actually load up some new things, we make sure that these arrays that we have here for the loaded items and the icons are just cleared out. So I'm just take both of these and say clear, clear. Sorry, that popped into my head. I don't know why. My wife had been watching Station 19. Maybe that's why. Clear on both of those. And that should get rid of the issue with whenever we open the widget more than once inside, inside of the same session that it creates multiple instances of the uh, widget. So, uh, or of the icon, I'm sorry. But you see here, we, we only have, so we only have one head, we only have one arms, we have three torsos and we have two legs. And that won't change no matter how many times we instantiate this widget. So that's that error fixed. Next thing I want to work on just and this is just all design stuff. We'll start the programming in the next video. I want to work on getting this character preview set up so that we can actually see the character inside of this widget whenever we open it. So that's going to require a couple things. Let's go to this uh, folder here uh, the dev folder make a new folder for materials and then inside that materials folder I'm going to make another folder for UI. And then inside of here, I'm just going to make a material and I'm going to call this mat underscore character preview and save that. Another thing that we're going to need is a texture uh, render target. And this is what we're going to be showing this material to render to us. And we're going to call this RT underscore character preview. I'm going to open that and I'm going to make it a size that's like 2048 by 2048 since this is just going to be using a menu and we don't have to worry about like optimizing or anything like that we want quality over optimization in a place like a menu that's only going to run at 60 fps anyways so let's take this character preview double click and open it and then i'm going to drag this texture into it and that's the texture we want and then i need to change this material type to user interface and we want it to be translucent and then we'll just grab uh, this puppy here and this is going to be our final color and just so we can start previewing what's going on in here so uh, have some actual uh, visuals to help us decide on which math to use i'm going to actually create the thing that's going to be displaying to this render target so i'm gonna make this dev folder have another folder called actors and inside this actors folder, I want to make a folder for the modular character. Inside of here, I'm going to create a blueprint based off of that modular character skin. There she is. Okay, I'm going to call this BP modular character preview. Open that up. And inside of here, let's just put some some things in here. Uh, this look, just to look dev at it. So I'm going to put this head for this torso. I'm going to put these arms here. For these arms, you know I'm gonna use these hands. It's the only ones we have. And for the legs, I'm gonna use the legs here. There we go. All right, so now we can take a look at adding a scene capture component 2D to this guy. And you can see where it starts at at the root. We actually wanna bring this out, rotate it a bit so that it's looking at him. And in the scene capture 2D, we want to change this texture target to our character preview render target. You can kind of see what we're looking at here. Uh, so I'm going to rotate this, pitch it down like that just to get a good visual of it. And it's not, you can't see it perfectly there, uh, but you can start to see it. And if we go over to our material, we can see what we're looking at now. So now I want to kind of change this alpha a bit and the way to do this is there's a couple ways you can take a radial gradient and this will just create like a circular gradient if, uh, so take this alpha invert it one minus and then we want to actually multiply this value against this value and pass this in for opacity you can see we get like a little softness around the circle of the character 
the other way to do this is to do something like a linear gradient and you can see here we got the u gradient or a v gradient and we can either pass it the u and i think that goes left to right or we can pass it the v which goes top to bottom so uh, that's which whichever one you want to do here i'm actually going to take this uv channel and i'm gonna make a uh if we press two on our keyboard we can make this vector here so if i make this go to like so right now it's at zero zero i want it to move to the left so if i do like a negative value like negative 0.35 or something like that it should if we take these two values and say make float two we should in theory uh, and actually i don't need to do that uh, we can just take this we should technically move this over oh my god it didn't do that okay let's see zero no okay all right so that's not working how i expected it to there's got to be a way to mm, maybe i can take this and do a contrast to kind of um or even better maybe a power node power node is like a levels node and every other thing and then one thing i'm going to do real quick man just because this is going to bother me i'm going to change this back to surface real quick so that i could see uh, what the hell is going on here and i think in this preview can we turn off the we can't okay oh yeah i don't want to see the background there we go i don't want to see the grid either i wish i could turn off the floor too can't okay but uh, do you see this looks all weird uh, basically i want to see what uh this looks like here so if i start previewing this i should be able to there we go all right let's see what this exponential is going to do to this let's do 0.1 and you see the lower this value is the more white this gets so maybe put this on one there we go something that's not too overpowering because i think by default it's like too overpowering on the the actual gradient side of it so with that i'm gonna take this and turn it back to a uh, ui and oh you can actually you actually could preview okay i guess i was messing up earlier all right i'm gonna stop previewing this and maybe we could do 0.5 and that's okay and another thing i want to do is take this power node and then also pass it to this final color you can see here that you can change the contrast of this so we put this on two it's a little bit over contrasted put it on one i think that's right in the balance so i'm gonna do like 1.525 or something like that where it's contrasty but not too contrasty so if we save that we can then take this material and put it inside of this image here so if we look for a character preview okay there it is take that character preview and now you see we have that in our widget and if we actually save this let me zoom in just a little bit more with the camera here maybe get a better shot or not even zoom in let's take this from eight uh, from 90 to 80 compile that and then look at what it looks like okay it looks okay and you guys are probably wondering like how is mine not showing a background or anything like that it's only because if you if you're looking at it inside the actual blueprint technically i believe the the background is counted as black but if we drag this into the world you'll see that our render target starts showing the world and we don't really want that do we we kind of want just this character to show so the way to do that is to go to the modular character preview and come over here to the construction script and we'll grab this scene component 2d and there's this uh hide actors or show 
only actors there is is to get to show only actors this is a array of a list of actors to show only in this uh, scene capture component also if you wanted to optimize the scene capture component you can tell it to only show a certain type of actors here uh, we want to say add and then we want to add this actor to it so get a reference of self here and that will make it to where uh, well, first we have to go to the scene capture component and we need to change this preview, uh, the primitive render mode to the use show only list. If we compile that and we take a look at our widget now, you can see that we see nothing in the background, just the, char just the character himself. And I can also see that that gradient is still a little powerful, man. Um, 0.15 maybe. The gradient is crazy, that linear gradient. Okay, so going back to the widget, and this is fine with me. I mean, of course, if you change this, uh, the way that he's looking, the lighting will change so that if you want better lighting, you just need to light him better. You see, this looks way better. Compiling this, and so just to check this inside of the actual gameplay, you can go full screen here press T you see we can see our character there and what we want to happen is whenever we click on one of these icons that it applies that mesh to the character and we will handle that in the next video so if you guys are ready for that I'll see you in the next one peace